Why? Hello there, husbandos and waifus. Welcome to a different type of video. So, as we know, the year of Genshin Impact is about to come through. Um, I've been playing this game officially for a year now. I, I was playing it during the uh, open beta in China. And uh, now it's officially about one year and very a lot of people are excited about Genshin Impact. So I thought I would share with you guys uh, my experiences as well as all of the characters that I have. A big question that I usually get is like, Herm, are you playing Genshin Impact? You guys don't follow me on twitch.tv slash Hermzar where we do a lot of streams. We do Genshin Impact about every day. Though if you guys notice, I kind of took a, a little break uh, from streaming um, just because, you know, the depression and anxiety hit a little too harder than it should have. But um, we are here for some Genshin Impact and I thought I'd share with you guys. It's re very rare that we do some gaming stuff and I have some gaming stuff ideas that I want to share with you guys, especially another gacha game that I'm pretty addicted to, but I haven't put any money in. This is probably, this one and Epic 7 are probably the only gacha games that I really put money into, but uh, Genshin Impact is I put a shit ton of money into. I have not completed this last one yet because i struggle i struggled with this one for some reason but we could do the dailies first while i show you guys everything that's happening so obviously i kind of cleared out everything everything is fully exposed obviously i play this game every day so it would be a lot easier for me to kind of show everything that we have explore every nook and cranny and i haven't even completely done all that so all right let's go let's go do some of the the events in inazuma so one thing that people always ask me about is like, do I ever get burnt out on the game? And uh, the truth is no, uh, I never, oh my God, Ben, I forgot my Ben, it's fainted. And I'm using Kamisato Ayaka. She's uh, one of the newer characters, her and Yoimiya. I have every character in the game for reference if people uh, didn't know. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm considered a whale. One thing that I don't really understand is why why is spending money on the game such a bad thing like if you enjoy something it's fine like i i have the money to, to play this game i put money on the side to invest in this game so why not a, a big question that i get asked a lot is like how do i not get burnt out on this game if i play it so much the actual answer is i don't play that i don't i don't play this game as much as people think I do. I mean, you guys know there's other games that I've been playing outside of uh, Genshin Impact. Oh my god. I always bounce back. My apologies. I think I read of this too. Uh, let me let me blow that shit up. Hold up. Ah, bop, bop. All right, so I don't get burnt out on this game because I don't I don't have to fully dedicate long hours into this game unless there's like story. Outside of story, we don't really uh we don't really do much. Um I just usually play the game as much as needed and then outside of that, once we finish once we finish catching up to uh, a large portion of the story or we finish the story, a lot of it is just doing dailies and then uh, getting the right artifacts. But I can understand why people uh, lose interest into the game because after a while, especially since the game is not done, uh, it's really easy for uh, people to get tired of the game. I don't blame them, you know? But for me, this game is still really fun. I also had a free-to-play account that I haven't given much attention to lately, which uh, I should because I'm pretty sure I should have enough for a summons, maybe. Oh, you're right here. All right, that's fine. These uh, these Electro ones are so annoying. I'm going to use this time to, to heal up Bennett while uh, they're obviously attacking my balloon. Hello? Sorry to the people of Rito. Your uh, transport, your your luggage probably just got destroyed in the process of me bringing it over. But it's your fault. I only play like an hour or two of this game a day, and after that, we're done. Like on stream, if you guys come through to the streams, you guys see that we only play just a bit of it. You know, we don't play four hours or six hours unless there's a story. I, dude, I have I have so much resin. I have so much to do in this game. I'll show you exactly what I do since there's so much to do in terms of this game. Like I'm caught up. Up. obviously i'm done with the main story so i'm just doing a bunch of uh, uh of side things now. these missions are really easy um i i'm assuming because i tried different stuff i'm assuming we have to give like offer snacks it's so funny that we're offering things up to the archon when the archon 
is uh being super uh sussy baka right now it's all good so yeah like at this point i'm just doing dailies oh yeah this is this, there's one i can't find and i don't know where it's at i literally just gave up i'm just like you know what i'll i'll find it eventually so it says we gotta clear some fog up pretty easy we got kazuha which um can easily do that oh my god he almost died this area i used to hate so much because there was so much electro damage that happened around this area i was really struggling with it, it i thought this was like even more annoying than dragon spine but uh that's one thing that i have to give the game at some points there is a, a few difficulty spikes that like drive me crazy but i like i totally respect it uh like i'll show you guys the challenge that i was trying to do uh and i keep getting shitted on but i think it's also because i haven't built the right characters or all of the characters since i have every character i i kind of feel like i spread my resources thin and that's one thing right for people who try to get every character like me and want to try to build every character uh there comes a point where 160 resin i feel like is not enough this game like this is currently my favorite game that i'm playing and i've been playing it for a year now and it's been my favorite game for a year this game is far from perfect i feel like people think like if they say that this game sucks and it's not for them that's fine i know it's not for a lot of people Oh shit. Oh shit. Alright, we got more, we got more, we got more. Bring him on, bring him on. Come here, my boy. But yeah, this game this game is far from perfect. I feel like people expect me to defend that this is the best game of all time and it's not it's like a game that i truly enjoy i always wanted a gotcha game that i would like really like to play but i always seem to struggle finding one and i play a lot of gotcha games or i've played a lot of gotcha games at least that's all of it yay and then uh yeah go here so the reason why i have so much to do is i haven't played for a day i haven't played for a clean 24 hours oh also i usually dispatch character on not characters on expedition so i let them do this i let them go on missions what's really cool is that you can characters that's already in your party before you couldn't do that but now you can all right so if you look i have about uh four condensed resin which i'm pretty sure i can make one more to make five and then i also have uh 160 resin which will probably turn to 120 after i condense one so usually what i do i usually only have 160 resin is just because i haven't played for a day so i would have them okay so let's do it in this sense right so i have five condensed resin which gives me double the amount of experience and items for whatever i decide to do here so if you guys if you guys want to know yes pretty much have every single character in the game unfortunately when 2.1 drops i won't be able to get alloy until she's available on pc because i didn't make an account on playstation i made it on pc the issue is like when you try to build so many characters you end up running out of resources like my yoimi is not built sayu's almost done ayaka's done uh kazuha is done yula's not done yanfei is done rosaria is not done hu tao was done but then i gave her artifacts over to yanfei zhao is done ganyu is done albedo is not done and zhongli's not done which i'm working on zhongli right now Xinyan is not done i want to do Xinyan. tartaglia is almost done i haven't built yona period i haven't built klee yet venti is not done kutching of course is done she's my favorite character mona is not done chi chi's almost done diluc is almost done uh, Jean is... Uh I just get, got started with her. Sucrose not done. Chongyu not done. Noel almost done. Bennett almost done. Fischl almost done. Haven't built Ningguang yet or Xingqiu. I started on Beidou. Haven't built Xiangling yet. Haven't built Razor. Barbara is done. We have a DPS Barbara if you guys didn't know. Lisa is not done. Kaya I haven't built yet. Uh, obviously it's a running joke that we don't like Kaya because he's too broken because I pissed off so many Kaya fans. Genshin Impact fans are just really hard to please right now man. And then uh, Amber who is actually almost done. I wanted to build Amber as a running joke because Yanfei is obviously the better Amber. But you know people always said oh Mona is better than Barbara but then Barbara. I built Barbara to be better than Mona. So I have a lot of fun building four, car four star characters and one thing that I really like about this game is that you can build characters however you like it. So um, that's honestly what I do. I build every character DPS because why not? But at the end of the day that ends up hurting me just a little bit so actually like i said i wanted to build zhongli um i need to work on his weapons which is deathmatch because uh, i don't have his, his spear and i need to finish building these his talents also need work i mean obviously i, I think i could just give it to him I, <laughs> why the fuck not so there's always something that i gotta do like all of this is so important 
like people people really say oh man i have nothing to do when you're out of resin technically there's nothing to do but uh i always feel like i have something to do a character that i have to build and if if you're free to play which uh free to play seems to shame me a lot i feel like that's even better because sometimes you, you have just enough appropriate things to build a character you know you won't lose resources as quickly as i do and and see look look and just like that i'm out of money let's let's work on zhongli a bit uh i think since we have a lot i don't think i have to do bosses so here's the plan lecha flans we will use up all of our resin on things so half of it is going to be or the five that we have right now uh i think i will do it right here no let's do it let's do it at a place where i actually like wipe i am molly wop the floor with everybody which i think will do balls uh, uh people usually grind here for balls artifacts so we'll go ahead and do this one the other half we're gonna do not on money well i don't know because we also have the the lee line flows still gotta do i believe lee line flows is still happening this event right yeah it, by the time you guys watch this lee line's already done so we're going to do wealth obviously get some money which is going to use about 60 sorry my math is about is going to use about 60 i think we have the appropriate team for this so we'll go ahead and start it let's see how fast it takes me to beat this i think it's gonna take me a minute um usually i i do this with the people on my stream uh and then we just usually just beat this really really quickly so let's see how we could do it do i have any food to to just switch it up nothing that'll be honestly useful for me so let's go Born of ice and frost. The wind knows everybody stand back adventure time Bum 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 That hurts Come is to art Come is to art Whirling snow Clouds high The birds call Ah I still wanna I still want the electro route Let's light it up Oh, this thing is still alive? I was gonna say. See, that that took me one minute and nine seconds. That usually takes us like a few seconds, like forty seconds. We're gonna. I'm just gonna clear this part. So literally, this is what I do. I just grind for artifacts and then call it a day. <laughs> uh, see, look, this is trash. This is pretty good, actually. It's pretty good. People say since I have every character, I must have the luck of the gods no my rng luck is so bad especially when it comes to artifacts i like ayaka a lot ayaka is like one of my favorite characters but uh, i still prefer kutching over ayaka uh people ask me if my ayaka is as strong as my kutching i believe my ayaka might be stronger yeah my ayaka is slightly stronger than kutching but uh i have more fun doing kutching than ayaka i feel like personally i don't know why but i feel like my kutching does more damage than my ayaka but that just that might just be my favoritism no this one's not bad from what i hear ball scales scales off of energy recharge i don't know i'm gonna do a little bit of everything you know obviously i like to build all my characters with some crit damage there we go. Perfect. Oh my god. No! <laughs> and at least how I have Ayaka built right now, I feel like I'm heavily focused on her uh heavily focused on her doing some ice damage. It's not that I don't like oh. My god. My god, you fainted cuz I wasn't watching her HP and I tried healing her during uh Bennett's healing circle, but uh that that didn't work out too well, so I got to heal. Oh my god, the uh, the electro fucking bitch is the most annoying of all of them. The of the of the newest enemies. I hate I hate this electro bitch. Okay, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. That's pretty bad. All right, this is the last time. See guys, I've only been playing for like 28 minutes and I'm almost done. <laughs> times like this i kind of wish there was like more to do in this game and you know that's when you know that's when people go like it's a little grindy and i totally get it i totally get it people don't like the the grindiness of genshin impact because it is, it is really 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 grindy and uh 
You know, pe people don't like grinding games, and I and I completely get it. I completely get it. And this game is like pretty grindy, but they don't like they base the world stories and the bosses based off of your skill level and the levels of your characters. So I don't have to do the hardest level of these. I don't have to do the max levels of these domains, but I do it just because that's where my skill level is at right now. All right, so what we can do now is the Lee Line Flows, which is an event that Genshin Impact puts every once in a while. So at that point, these Lee Line Flows give us double the amount with us have, without us having to condense our resin, and it'll give us double the re rewards, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and do that. Usually, this is what my team looks like. So let's use this team. I don't know if this is gonna be the right team because this team doesn't do too hot in Inazuma. Since a lot of the characters do uh, deal electro damage, Kutching doesn't really do much. But luckily, I've built Kutching to be both physical and electro because that's what a lot of people ask me is how did I build her? I, I built it mixed. See, I, I still, I, moments like this, I kind of wish I had Kazuha so I could keep them all in one place. But then uh, the whole point is for Barbara to do shit like this. <laughs> Yeah, so I feel like this team composition, at least in Inazuma, hasn't fit me very well. So we're probably going to switch it up a little bit. So yeah, we got double the amount there, which is really, really nice. So the reason why we're doing this, obviously, you guys saw that uh, we were running dry on money. So the gold one gives us more money, which uh, unfortunately I need at this point. So we can at least uh, level up Zhongli, and then I'll show you guys the last event, which is giving me a bit of trouble, which I don't think I'll be able to complete. If I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, I'm probably not going to be able to beat it. Oh shit, Kazuha fucking died. I didn't notice his HP. That'll leave us with 60. I think we can condense one more time, and then uh, I don't know what we'll do with the last 20. I'll, uh, I'll figure that out later. <laughs> All right, the one thing that I don't like about this area in particular, those guys end up joining the fight. I don't I don't really like her, her swirl attack, her uh, Sakura swirl, because sometimes I miss, and I miss, I miss a lot. And people are like, oh, you're just bad at the game. Yes, I am bad at this game, but I have fun. I think that's what's important about this game, is that you have fun. I think that's, I think that's what people forget sometimes, that games are... Uh, meant to be fun some games you know i can understand the competitive aspect of it but you know i feel like it's it's so much more rewarding and when i'm having fun when i'm having fun playing the game and you know sometimes the fun aspect comes with the uh with the difficulty spikes of this game Ooh, i'm gonna I'm a come crashing down like this and then we go Bam! Um, and then We, oh, we, we still got we still got to get rid of this guy. This guy's gonna bother me. Look at all of these things. And one thing that I didn't do earlier in the game is collect everything that I see. Which you know you should you should actually collect everything that you see. All right, so we should have a good amount of money now. So that allows us to one double and one uh, single. And I believe it's over here. So what's really cool with uh weapons that that we have right so uh there's obviously a battle pass if you guys haven't played the game yet i'm, I'm assuming most of you guys played the game already so there's a battle pass which is this right here man fuck lynn all right so the battle pass when you pay i forgot how much it is is it 9.99 i don't remember how much this is i think this is 4.99 this is 9.99 i don't remember but uh for gnostic him it allows you to get one of these weapons and uh all of these weapons are good for every single character i feel like this is a appropriate for any character that you want to want to build uh my kutching uses the black sword my ganyu uses the verdescent uh i forgot who has serpent spine i think beidou has serpent spine right now death match is with zhongli and the solar flare thing whatever it's called is with my yanfei so i find all of these useful for any character build that you want uh, obviously some characters scale on different things so you might want to switch it up depending on what you have other than that i think they're pretty pretty useful anywhere now this place gives me memories so we're only going to do this twice and then we should be done and hopefully that'll give us enough to level up zhongli all right whoop Whoa, whoa! Usually, I just wipe the floor with Kutching, uh, with with Ganyu, and then I got these guys to deal with. I forgot that this this one kind of takes a bit. Ah! The water ones are so annoying because of that. But I think the, I think all Abyss mages are annoying in their own way. I hate all of them. All right, I, I think I need six of these, but maybe it's three. I'm not too sure. I'm hoping it's it's only X amount. 
that stage takes me way longer than it should have. I guess because the uh, the uh, the uh, the cooldown kind of takes a while. <laughs> I, I forgot that was a thing. Now with that, I think the easiest thing to do is to go to like let's say let's go to Monstad. It's been a while, dude. It's whenever I go to like Monstad or Liyue, since I'm always in uh Inazuma, it's always kind of like refreshing to kind of just be back at like one of the older areas. I think Liyue will always be like my favorite musically because it's so happy. All right, so we now we got now we got a bit of money on deck, which is fucking great. So let's go to Zhongli and see what we could do here. You guys are literally seeing what I do and how I don't burn out on the game because you know I feel like this is this is still fun for me uh, enhancing this and oh wait i forgot to enhance the the boreal tooth so usually what i like what i see a lot of people that follow me what they do is that if they're not spending like i do to make every to get every character they plan for a character that they plan on building and they work on their artifacts they work on everything that they need to level them up which i think is really smart it prepares them so when the time comes to use them they can use them whenever they want so then we do that and we are now level 70 weapon now all we need is two uh that will kind of take me a while to get to be honest now uh when it comes to his artifacts what i want to do is i want to level them up uh obviously he scales off of hp let's okay so what i usually do at this point is i try to get every everything to like eight so let's get this to eight let's get this to eight let's get this to eight so let's start with this. Most people build their Zhongli to be like just straight tanks. They eat so many hits because their HP just doesn't die down. And then their uh, then their shield just doesn't break. They just keep recharging their shield when they need to, which is fucking good. So this one's almost at eight. I'll just do one more. And that increases attack, which is fine. I'm not really looking for crit rate, crit damage. I kind of want him like in the middle of like just... um. A, a tank it also does some pretty good damage at the same time Ooh, crit damage see like i normally don't get this luck when it comes to building like i never i never get this luck guys you could ask my stream you guys my stream never 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 in my life <laughs> i promise all right so uh, like i said i'm building him just to be just this hp fucking tank to wrap this all up, let me show you guys. Wait, wait, wait. Before I do that, I, I feel like I definitely need to cook. Fuda, fuda. All in all, if I was, I want to give Inazuma because I haven't, I usually grade each thing by event. And Inazuma has been such a fun ride for me. And I can't wait to like play more. All right. So with this, I think the appropriate thing will to go Zhongli. I'll stick with Bennett, Ganyu and Kazuha. I think this is going to be the team that I'll be rolling with. I think temporarily for this, I'm go I am going to switch his weapon, which is not going to make too a lot of sense to people, but I'm going to switch with Zhao because that's funny as fuck. Just give him a little bit more attack power, you know, just a little bit cuz that in that sense that gives him 1200. I was going to say 12,000, but it doesn't. Okay. I keep failing this, so I won't be surprised if I fail this one again, dude. I, I I'm really bad at this for some reason. Go. Which is the last one just called elephant versus the whale because i'm the whale and you only get this like i don't really need that but whatever ah so close see that's usually what happens i, I always fail somewhere but uh, to be fair i know none of the recharges already so i thought that was pretty good well let, let, let's try it one more time let's try it one more time i'm pretty sure I, if if i had more time i could have probably done it but okay it's okay but yeah that that that's the one that i usually struggle with The, the only <laughs> the only issue i'm having is i keep anyways guys i'm struggling with this i'm gonna do this off camera but behold the abyss solidify for rex lapis hear the truth the wind knows me fallen leaves adorn my i'm going oh, in i will have order gather one with nature. Shabbat light shine. Hear the truth. Into the wind. The gifts of grace. Come be with you. Hear the truth. Teamwork is dreamwork. Solidify. Let's light it up. He 
One with we nature. Set clouds high. The givers come. Going with ice and frost. In the name of the truth. This is order. This is long overdue. Power. The wind knows it. Revelation. Let's light it. That's gonna hurt. Hear ye. Everybody stand back. Shout it. Stabilize. Into the wind. Let's light it up! Born of ice and frost. Urging time! <laughs> Solidify! Access denied! Yeah, that's uh, overall like um my my time with Genshin Impact has been nothing but positive. Like I I have fun playing as every single character. There's people always say like, "Oh, but why do you play Bennett when you have Deluc?" Honestly, like I said, you build any character that you want, and if you're just one of those toxic Genshin Impact fans, then you're fucking gross. Yeah, I mean, you play whoever you want to play, you build them however you want to build them. And that I think that's something that I said about on the sixth month of me or five month of me playing the game. I think there's just so much that you could do with Genshin Impact uh, that it's, it's just fun. Like, I have fun playing as any character that I, I play, even Kaya, even though I make a joke that I don't like Kaya. Like, I like playing as every single character character in this game and it's fun uh, and the lore of the game is really really cool i will say man there are some like genshin impact historians that annoy me to hell but i still think besides besides how crazy the fan base may get especially with characters and stuff like the game is all in all just a really really fun ride for me and i have fun playing the game so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy playing the game as well and if it's not your game that's that's completely fine i mean if if it's been your game you would have been playing it because it's already been out for a year and we're only in chapter two yeah what yeah the? yeah this is the end check it for subs because i really need to get that dough you won't subscribe what the hell bruh stop acting like a goddamn hoe 50k subs call me yami so i can go beyond my own limits 65 percent are not subbed and please because i know y'all are fucking with it Sheesh. Sheesh. Please stop and thanks. <laughs> Stoop.